I bought three boxes of Fusion Strike, and I'm only allowed to open up the 12 lightest packs from each of the booster boxes. So will I find anything good, or will it be really balanced out? Let's find out. What is going on guys? It is Poconos here, and in today's video, I bought three boxes of Fusion Strike booster packs. So we get 36 packs per booster box, so that's gonna be a lot of booster packs to weigh. I know weighing is taboo in the Pokemon community, but I thought it'd be a little fun to kind of test out the 12 lightest packs per box here of Fusion Strike. So I'm going to weigh all 36 of this last booster box I've already weighed out the last or the uh, first two booster boxes, and these are the 24 lightest packs from those two booster boxes. And now we're gonna weigh out this one, and I'll kind of speed through that. But I just wanted to show you guys me opening one at least and kind of go through that process. So yeah, we'll be right back. And we are back. We were able to weigh all 36 of them. So they kind of varied anywhere from like 22.08 uh, grams up to like 22.22 plus. So I saw some that were like 22.28 and all that. So we're only gonna focus on the lighter packs. So we're gonna go ahead and count out the 12 lightest packs. So we got those two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So these will be added to the stacks of the ones that we had weighed before. And maybe 10, and then oh, 08. And each of the booster boxes kind of had a different sort of feel. Like they had different weights in them. Like maybe the manufacturer used different kinds of glue or, or whatnot. So uh, let's go ahead and toss this stuff. We don't need it. And we will not open these packs it's kind of <laughs> sad but <laughs> it's for science so what is the purpose of this this is the goal we would want to get an equal amount of hits so we don't want to see an absurd amount of hits in the light packs we want to see and eh, like a third of them maybe having a hit or so um, just to have it be truly equal, truly balanced out, we do not want packs that are weighable. So that is the goal here. So we will start from the absolute lightest pack series from the uh, 22.06 grams and we will work our way up to the highest of the lightest weights from the booster boxes. And without further ado, Let's dive in. Let's see what we get. So one, two, three, four. And we got ourselves a Fighting Energy, Stantler, Gliscor, Scorch, Puzzle, Vulpix, Meltan, Toxel, Star U, Reverse Holographic, Cross Receiver, and for the first pack, probably one of the lightest packs, we have a, a non-rare Meloeta. So, all right, we're off to an okay start. There's no major hits in these packs. So that is the goal of this entire video. And actually, we're gonna split this up into two videos. Um, since this cost a ton of money, <laughs> also, we're gonna open up 18 packs in this first video. So I'm gonna go ahead and count out one, two, three, four, five. That'd be six total. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three. So we're gonna go ahead and hold these off for a future part two. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe 
and hit that like button, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. Because what we want is going to be equal balance packs. We don't want packs that are weighable. Because then that just makes it really sketchy, buying loose packs from people and all that. So, there we go. Let's see. Will we have... And hopefully, too, it's not like a bunch of junk. Alright, so... One, two, three, four. Got ourselves in energy. Pew, pew, ku, mu, ku. Schoolgirl, Chili, Cillin, and Cress. Trainer card, we got Jinx here. Mantine, Grubbin, Rotom, Smeargle, Reverse, Aracuda, and a non rare hollow. Or a non rare. Or a rare non hollow. Whew. Arcanine. All right. So these 22.06 gram packs are not doing so hot for the hits this time, which is ideally what we want to see. One, two, three, four. And we got ourselves a water energy, Excadrill, double, spongy gloves, phantom. Ooh. Oh. Snorlax, Snom, Dreepy, Makuhita. We have a Galarian, Darumantian, Darumanitan, Ooh. and Electrode for the another non hollow rare. So far, it's looking like the light packs aren't doing very well at all. So hopefully this can change it up a bit. Let's see, one, two, three, four. All right, maybe this will be a good pack. I don't know. Got Steel Energy, Electric, and we have Dunsparce, Dancer, Cufin, Gliger, Slugma, Skitty, Phalanx, Shelmet for the reverse, and. Ooh, uh, Deoxys Hollow. Not bad. All right, our first hollow hit of the day. Let's keep the ball rolling. So that's good. It took about five, no, four light packs so far to get our first hit. So let's do one, two, three, four. Flip this, and we got Energy, Sydney. Cross Switcher, Croconaw, Tootle, Shroomish, Klefki, Trubbish, Totodile, ooh, nice, love the art. We got a Reverse Hollow Rare, Glarian Cursula, nice, and Gudra for the Rare this time around, non-hollow. All right, so let's step it up to this last pack of the 22.06 grams. Alright, All right, let's check this out. We got Steel Energy, Spongy Gloves, Frost Moth, Simiseer, Makuhita, Pampor, Sawaddle, Skarmory, Jinx. We have Stantler for the reverse and a non hollow rare Senta Scorch. So, actually, there's one big difference if you aren't aware of it. The code cards that you get can either be white or black, it looks like, in these packs. And the black ones will have the hits. The white ones will not have the hits. And actually, these, pack, these cards here weigh different amounts. And this kind of offsets the weight of the pack. And it should make it balance out because the holographic cards here use thicker material as compared to a regular card that is not hollow just in case and uh, our goal here is to find about a third of these packs maybe having hits so let's keep this going so one two three four Steel Energy, getting a lot of Steel Energies. Simi Sage, Sydney, Battle VIP Pass, Klefki, Trubbish, Totodile, Phantom, Snorlax, 
Persian for the reverse. Very nice. And pile of sand. I call it a pile of sand. <laughs> and that'll be the non hollow rare this time. Now we're stepping it up to the 22.08 grams that weighed. And yeah, sometimes it weighed like 22.07 or 22.09 or something. So I would just throw it in that stack. I didn't want like 40 stacks hanging out on this uh, table here. two three four so what do you guys think do you think we will get a balanced amount of hits in these packs let me know in the comments down below so we're starting off again we got energy bear scuda we got copper jaw copper jaw i call it copper jaw we have cook meltan toxil star you maw isle makuhita we got the pile of sand for the rare Reverse hollow, not bad. And Absol for the rare. Non hollow this time. We'll keep going. We'll see what happens. So every pack will have the uh, reverse. So it's just by chance if you get like a okay reverse holographic card. All right, one, two, three, four. And I heard this set already has pretty bad rates, but you should be able to get at least 12 okay cards per box, I heard, as well. So that's kind of just average, you know, so it's not always. But we got Energy, Sharpedo, Heliolisk, we got Dunsparce, Indeedee, we got Growlithe, we got Phalanx, more Peko, looking angry, we got Smeargle, Reverse, Quillfish, and Apollo Sand. Getting a lot of a lot of sand in these packs. All right, let's keep going. One, two, three, four. Leaf Energy, Turtonator. We have Pukumuku, Schoolgirl, Galarian Darumaka. We have Sizzlepede, Stuffle, Sandy Guest. Plusle, Clam Pearl, and non rare for the pack this time, Vika Volt. So let's keep going. Let's keep rolling. So, got about seven, eight packs still for this part of the opening. So let's see what we do. Let's see what we get. All right, we got dark energy. Nice. Karkanaw, changing it up from the usual, like, uh, steel energy we've been getting. We got Excadrill, Double, Full Picks. Love the art style. Very pretty. And we have Meltan going to Toxel. Star You. Mile. Butterfree for the rare. Not bad. Got a. Not bad for the reverse rare right there, and... Ooh! Inteleon VMAX, our very first ultra rare card. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and sleeve that up. Let's keep that ball rolling. Let's see. I know, I mean, this is seeming fairly balanced. We've been getting a lot of... A lot of the rare non-hollows in these light packs. All right, so we got ourselves an Energy, Beware, Dracloak, we have Corvus Squire, Wooloo, Pancham, Galarian Darumaka, Ndidi, Growlithe, Luxio for the reverse, and a Maractus for the rare this time. All right, so let's keep this going. So do you think this is kind of balanced for the weights? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. We do all kinds of weird stuff for Pokemon dealies. All kinds of Pokemon card things, vintage stuff. You name it. It'll be in this channel some at some point. <laughs> or it's already in the channel. And we have Fire Energy, Cramomatic. We got Eldegoss. Very nice. Love that Sunray effect going on. And the clouds in that scene. We got Galarian Per Surker. We have Quillfish. Tynamo, Glarian Meowth, Eevee, 
Always love the EB cards. We got Chinx, Meloetta. Ooh, rare. Reverse card. And. Ooh. Whoa, buddy. All right. We got Lucario V. Not bad. Let's sleeve that up real quick. I love that. I was doing the Aurora Sphere attack. Looks like. I always love it when the card and the attacks go hand in hand. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Let's keep opening. Got, what, five packs if you count this one? All right. So, I mean, I don't know if we'll find anything super amazing in these packs, but you never know. That's the fun of opening Pokemon packs. So we got Energy, Frostmaw, Simiseer, Galarian Linoon, Rookity, Darumaka, with the Galarian one. We have Sizzlipede, Stuffle, very nice. Love the stars in the sky and all that, that entire scene there. We have Sandy Gast. We have Glossif oh, Gossifleur. And Rare Non Hollow Golem. Yeah, I don't know. I'd say it's fairly balanced out. Makes me want to open up the heavy packs. I <laughs> kind of see it in its in entirety, I guess you could say. So, three, four. We got ourselves an Energy, Phalanx, Semi Sage, Dancer, Smeargle, Quillfish, Dynamo, Galarian Meowth, Gossifleur. Schoolgirl for the reverse and rare non hollow Aquanid. Arquanid. Araquanid. There we go. Wow. Sometimes I haven't seen the Pokemon name in a while, or it might be my first time getting a card like that. So, yeah, because I was more of like a vintage collector, but I always kind of collected the Pokemon cards throughout the years. But, you know, it's just. I uh, kind of got in and out of it just throughout the years, you know, time and life kind of changed it up for me. So, Energy, Schoolboy, Primeape, Zarud, and we have Galarian Darumaka, Ndidi, Growlithe, Morpeko, Eevee, Ooh, Cross Seaver for the reverse, and Rare non hollow Golem. Alrighty, we have two more packs, guys. Do you think we can get another hit out of these? packs today let me know in the comments what you think or do you think all the hits are in the heavy packs <laughs> should i do a video of the heavy packs all right one two three four got ourselves energy lope bunny marsh stomp cross siever dupe biter meowth onyx choodle shroomish Makuhita and Luxray for the rare non hollow. And this will be the last part, last pack for this part here. And we will keep checking it out for the light packs. I, depending on how these other openings go, I might do the heavy packs. Will we have last pack magic? One, two, three, four. I hope so. That'd be cool. And we've got ourselves Fighting Energy, Graveler, Masharna, we have Heatmore, Snom, got Dreepy, Makuhita, Rookity, Clarion Darumaka, we got Trevenant, and. Ooh, okay. Finishing off with a Hollow Hit Starmie. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, so guys, I will see you in part two.